The mainstream media, as well as Hillary Clinton's campaign, has been recently criticizing Bernie Sanders over an interview he did where he talked about breaking up the big banks. Now, when asked about this interview, Hillary Clinton effectively said that he's not qualified without actually saying it. But she did criticize him, and it was a really strong criticism. Here's what she had to say. Do you believe this morning that Bernie Sanders is qualified and ready to be president of the United States? Well, I think the interview raised a lot of really serious questions. Um, and I look at it this way. Uh, the core of his campaign has been uh, break up the banks. And it didn't seem in reading his answers that he understood exactly um, how that would work under Dodd-Frank, exactly who would be responsible, what the criteria were. Uh, and, you know, that means you can't really help people if you don't know how to do what you are campaigning on saying you want to do. So is he, uh, so and then is, there he other very is, is he qualified? I know, I know there are a <laughs> lot of examples of where he came up short and the interviewers were <clears throat> having to repeat questions. So the question, and I'm serious, if you weren't running today and you looked at Bernie Sanders, would you say this guy is ready to be president of the United States? Well, I think he hadn't done his homework and he'd been talking for more than a year about doing things that he obviously hadn't really studied or understood. So now you can construe from that, obviously, that she effectively called him unqualified without actually saying it, but I actually take it much worse. She was being so condescending there. She basically called Bernie Sanders dumb. Let me go through some of the things she said. So she said, it didn't seem as though he doesn't understand how breaking up the big banks work would work under Dodd-Frank. She also said, you can't really help people if you don't know how to do what you're saying you want to do. Okay, so basically you're calling him stupid. So it's not just unqualified. You're basically calling Bernie Sanders stupid. You're being condescending. You're saying that, oh, he doesn't understand all these really complicated things that us, you know, us elite rich people understand, right? That's exactly what you're saying. So it's actually a lot worse than saying that he's unqualified, but she said it. Now, before I get to what Bernie Sanders said in response to this, I want to talk about what the reaction would be if Bernie Sanders said what Hillary Clinton just said. So in the past, Hillary Clinton has diminished Glass-Steagall and its importance. So if Bernie Sanders would have said, oh, well, Hillary Clinton, look, you haven't done your homework. Maybe you should learn about this thing you're talking about. Maybe you should go back and do a little bit of reading, brush up on your knowledge, because you clearly don't know what I know. That's a little bit condescending, right? And obviously, they would say that Bernie Sanders is being sexist. They'd say, oh, well, you're just talking down to a woman. You're being condescending to her. But Hillary Clinton could do the same exact thing and escape criticism. But Bernie Sanders, he has to be quiet. Okay, you can't criticize the queen, but anyways, he did, and this is his response to her. Let me, let me just say in response to Secretary Clinton, I don't believe that she is qualified if she is, if she is through her super PAC taking tens of millions of dollars in special interest funds. I don't think that you are qualified if you get $15 million from Wall Street through your super PAC. I don't think you are qualified if you have voted for the disastrous war in Iraq. I don't think you are qualified if you have supported virtually every disastrous trade agreement which has cost us millions of decent paying jobs. I don't think you are qualified if you supported the Panama Free Trade Agreement. Something I very strongly oppose, and which, as all of you know, has allowed corporations and wealthy people all over the world to avoid paying their taxes to their countries. So now by him pointing out actual factual reasons why Hillary Clinton is not qualified to be president, which are true, which are based on facts, again, her smears were based on hyperbole. She was just launching an ad hominem attack against Bernie Sanders. He provided substance. 
her vote for the Iraq war, for example. Uh, but yet, you know, Bernie Sanders, he didn't get the memo. And you are not supposed to criticize the queen. Don't talk about Queen Hillary. She can attack you, but when she does, you better be quiet. Now, a big, huge shitstorm ensued, and I'll get to that. But first, I want to talk about some of the attacks that Hillary Clinton launched on Bernie Sanders before uh, and the reception that they got from the media. So, first and foremost, she referred to Bernie Sanders as a racist, as well as some of her campaign surrogates, like David Brock. Uh, she said that when Bernie Sanders talks about the gun debate being a rural versus urban problem, she said, well, when some people say urban, what they really mean is black. So, she was saying that he's boiling it down to an issue of black people with guns, when in actuality, he's talking about urban areas, densely populated cities that are developed and whatnot. Not black, but she wanted to smear him. And also David Brock had implied that he doesn't care about black people because one of his ads wasn't diverse enough. And <laughs> that's just one of the attacks. Nobody covered it. I covered it, but not very many people talked about it. Now, there was another attack where she implied that he is sexist because when talking about guns again, he said that, you know, both sides need to stop yelling at each other. Otherwise, we're never going to get anything accomplished. And what does Hillary Clinton say? She said, well, you know, when some people say that they're yelling, or that we're yelling, you know, they, they mean women. But in actuality, he's just saying both sides, meaning left and right, or left and center-left, need to stop yelling at each other. And he even said the same thing to Martin O'Malley. But Hillary Clinton saw that as an opportunity to attack him as sexist. Now, one of the most recent attacks, which I'm going to be talking about individually on this channel, is how Hillary Clinton said that he prioritizes the rights of gun manufacturers over the lives of children at Sandy Hook. She literally used victims to slander Bernie Sanders. I'm not kidding. Now, what was the response from everyone when Hillary Clinton did these repulsive attacks? That's right, crickets, because there was no response. Nobody cared. No heads exploded. Uh, when she brazenly was trying to smear him as a sexist, as a racist, as someone who doesn't care about dead children. How sickening is that, right? But here, Bernie Sanders is defending himself and everybody loses their shit. In case in point, the first one was Rachel Maddow, how she came out with a segment saying Bernie Sanders attacks Hillary Clinton, calls, him un calls her unqualified, and she talks about how, wow, this is a new low for the campaign, and she played Bernie Sanders talking about how there's various reasons, X, Y, and Z, why she's not qualified. So Bernie Sanders was responding to what he believed was Hillary Clinton basically implying that he wasn't qualified, but much worse, in my opinion, calling him stupid, uh, and... The headline was that he's attacking Hillary Clinton. Look, if someone tries to punch you and you grab their wrist and you stop them from punching you, would that be reported as crazy mad mad grabs wrist of someone? Or would it be reported as man defends himself, blocks punch going to face? Well, of course that would be the case. So why, why is this being reported as Bernie Sanders attacks Hillary Clinton? It should be Bernie Sanders responds to attack of Hillary Clinton because that's what happened. He wouldn't have replied if she hadn't started that and basically effectively said that he's not qualified and dumb. So Bernie Sanders is not allowed to open his mouth when he gets attacked by Hillary Clinton. Even if it's the case that it's the most repulsive attack in the world, Bernie Sanders can't say anything. How ridiculous is this? Now I want to get to these uh, attacks individually on what happened. So first and foremost, the Washington Post fact-checked Bernie Sanders uh, with the title, Sanders' incorrect claim that Clinton called him not qualified for the presidency. So you can construe it that way, but I do have someone that disagrees with you. Another journalism outlet. Oh, actually, wait. It's the same journalism outlet, the Washington Post. You guys are disagreeing with yourself because less than 24 hours before you wrote this headline, you said Clinton questions whether Sanders is qualified to be president. So which one is it? Did she say that he's unqualified or did she not? She, we all know that she didn't actually literally say that she, he's not qualified, but she effectively said it. Like you can say things without using the direct words to say them, right? We all know that. We're all adults. We know doublespeak. We know Orwellian speak. Hillary Clinton uses it all the time. She speaks in these coded terms and she basically said it. So Washington Post tried to be brilliant and quote fact check Bernie Sanders when they're just disagreeing with themselves. Now getting to her campaign, well, Brian Fallon was incredibly butthurt and he tweeted out, Bernie Sanders, take back your words about Hillary Clinton. <laughs> uh, do you want to know who this reminds me of? Leave her alone! Now the former mayor of Philadelphia and Clinton surrogate Michael Nutter says, Cute strategy, Bernie Sanders claims to run a positive campaign while burning Hillary Clinton with vicious negative. That is the burn. 
okay, so he is running a positive campaign. He's pointing out facts about Hillary Clinton. He says she's taking money from Wall Street. He said that she voted for the Iraq war. So if he points out a fact and you don't like the fact, then that means you don't like your candidate. So you're basically admitting that Hillary Clinton is a weak candidate and that the attacks launched by Bernie Sanders are true. So this is ridiculous. And I love that you said it because you guys are making our argument for us. Now, he also tweeted out Hillary Clinton is more than qualified to be POTUS. And Bernie Sanders is actually attacking POTUS through Hillary. I don't know, he's attacking Obama, but whatever. Shame, Senator. Take it back. They all want him to take it back. Give me a break. Uh, tonight, Bernie Sanders said Hillary Clinton wasn't qualified to be president. This is low and crossed the line. Take it back, Senator. See, they, they want him to take it back because how dare him say something about Queen Hillary? Don't you ever say she's not qualified. She is the most qualified person in the history of the universe to ever be president. She's more qualified than God. <laughs> Uh, you are not allowed to critique Hillary Clinton. And I like how he says this is low. Oh, this is low. It's not low to imply that someone is sexist or racist when they're not, or imply that someone cares about gun manufacturer rights over the lives of children, right? That's not low. But this is low for him to point out facts about Hillary Clinton in response to an attack that she launched against him. That's low. Now, my favorite are the sexist claims that came through. You all knew it was going to happen, but there was an article from 538, uh, and they published it talking about how uh, using the underqualified remark is something that, you know, men use against women all the time. Now, there's a kernel of truth to that. It is typically a sexist remark that men use to diminish women. But we have the context. We know that he was responding to what was said against him. Now... I'll put a link in the description box to that article because I'm not going to get into it because it's just, again, we have the context in this situation. We know it wasn't sexist in nature. We know that Bernie Sanders was defending himself. But someone else, ironically, had the audacity to, to imply that Bernie Sanders was sexist and that this was a sexist attack. Bill Clinton. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Yes, that Bill Clinton, the one who has treated women as sexual objects for the entirety of not just his life, but his career, including during his tenure as president of the United States. That Bill Clinton, the one who has had multiple allegations of sexual misconduct waged against him. That Bill Clinton, that, I, I just want to make sure we know, that Bill Clinton, you're thinking of the right person. Bill Clinton today was asked about the comments and said, of course you wouldn't have made the same charges if she were a man oh my and he said i think there are some different standards for women some of them are subconscious bill well clinton. i i appreciate bill clinton being my psychoanalyst it's it's always nice uh, but the reality is that ever since wisconsin when that became the sixth out of seven states that we have won in either caucuses or primaries i think the clinton campaign has made it public basically they've told the media uh, that here in New York, they're about to become very negative, uh, about to beat us up. And I just want them to understand that, you know, we have tried to run an issue-oriented campaign, but that we are not going to be attacked every single day. Our record is not going to be distorted. We are going to fight back. So we know that this argument that Bernie Sanders is sexist for saying that Hillary Clinton is not qualified to be president, well, it doesn't hold up because if you extrapolate it to any other scenario with the same context, it would fall apart immediately. Now, the lesson here is that Bernie Sanders is not allowed to criticize Queen Hillary Clinton. She can say anything she wants. She can slander him in every which way possible. Her surrogates can call Bernie Sanders racist. She can imply he's sexist. She can bring out victims and say that he doesn't care about them. He cares more about gun manufacturers. Uh, and it's perfectly fine. Nobody's going to be outraged. But if Bernie Sanders dare criticizes the Queen then heads are gonna explode. Well, I've got news for you, Hillary Clinton, but if you talk shit about Bernie Sanders, he has a right to defend himself, just as you have a right to defend yourself if he talks shit about you and he starts it. In this case, you started it, actually, like many cases, you started it and then you get offended when he hits back at you. Of course, he's gonna criticize you. If you don't wanna be criticized, then don't say anything about him. But the problem is that all you have is a, a bunch of ad hominem attacks to launch against him. You don't have facts. What are you gonna use against him? That he's too liberal? To the democratic base? Is that what you're going to use? It's not going to work. It's never going to work. Don't get mad at the facts that Bernie Sanders points out about you. Get disappointed in yourself because they're true. And what you don't like is that he just points out your weaknesses that are true about you. So Hillary Clinton is <laughs> not 
infallible. She's not above criticism. And, and of course, Bernie Sanders can certainly defend himself if she criticizes him. And she launched a horrible attack against him, implying someone is dumb. That's not classy. So, yes, Bernie Sanders does have the right to criticize you in return and bounce back to you what you said about him. So this is ridiculous, and it just shows the bias and the double standard that exists against Bernie Sanders, but not Hillary Clinton.